welcome to Throwback Thursday. I'm repping two different eras because we could be going anywhere on Throwback Thursday. But today, we're throwing it back to June 29th, 1990, when something happened that has never happened before and hasn't happened since. Mm-hmm. Put your comment in the in the uh, comments below. Have you ever witnessed or been a part of something that's never happened before and never will again, other than your existence in this moment? I mean, we're getting a little philosophical there, but we're talking we baseball today. <laughs> we're talking baseball today, and we're diving straight in to this event. Aaron, kick us off. Yeah, I, w- I want to just draw a little attention. We're talking 1990. Adam's got the, the batting practice jersey from 1990. Um, we're up in Ken Griffey Jr., what he wore, 89-90, the a la back, back, backwards hat. We're throwing it back to the Griffey era. So I just wanted to – I just wanted to – I had to. I had to say something. So anyway, back to the back to the uh, topic at hand here. So we've got uh, – we had something happen, a very unique thing, June 29th, 1990. Dave Stewart, Fernando Valenzuela – throw no hitters on the same day okay this was interesting though because there was a particular tv station that was a specific benefactor of this happening do you know the tv station of which i speak yeah the tv station was espn who at the time was doing friday night double headers and the Mm -hmm. a's game was the front end of the double header and the dodgers game was the Back into the doubleheader, they happened to show both games on the same night. What and and particularly relevant because 1990 was the first year that ESPN uh, broadcast live baseball games. So yep. this was huge for ESPN to have these two games happen on this. On this yeah, night. and now now they broadcast sports all around the world every single day. Events mm-hmm. across multiple networks. Mm-hmm. Um, it's wild. <laughs> Well, so in this game, uh, so the A's won 5-0. to zero, And what was interesting is, you know, fellow namesakes, Ricky and Dave Henderson, um, drove in all five runs. Um, perhaps a bit of a little redemption for them because just 18 days earlier, they combined to go 0 for 7 with three strikeouts as the A's were no hit by who? <clears throat> Well, if memory serves, that would be the uh, the image that I'm coming to is like in this era is Nolan Ryan for the Texas Rangers, no hitting the A's, striking out Ricky Henderson. Uh, may have been the end of the game. I can't remember. But um, and I believe that was no hitter number six uh, for Nolan Ryan as well. So um, I didn't realize it was that close, but that's, uh, that's a great little uh, redemption. Turn it around on. On Toronto here. Yeah, well, it was the year of the no hitter or seven thrown that mm-hmm. season. Yeah, and we we're not gonna be able to cover all this in trivia zone, but here there are actually nine, and then two went revisionist history. They redefined what is a no hitter and they pared it down to seven. So yeah. that's what happened there. <laughs> so go ahead and look that up. Um, but um here's here's what I want to talk about. So we're switching gears and we're talking the second half. We're going back half of the double header. Uh, Fernando Valenzuela throws a, a big time game, and um, he actually at the beginning, the first inning, Kirk Gibson dropped a fly ball. Um, and but later in the game, Kirk Gibson kind of made it up, he picked up his teammate, and he did it that by doing what? Um, I'm gonna say that he hit um, a home run, so it's not correct. Actually, this was interesting because. Fernando Valenzuela actually got on base, and the way that Kirk Gibson kind of picked him up was he hit an RBI single that actually drove in Fernando Valenzuela, scored a run. Oh, well, that's fun. It's a fun little piece of trivia there. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, so um, at the end of this game, and so here's you're watching the uh, double play that ended the game here at the end of the game. Um, Vin Scully, who's the uh, play-by-play announcer for the Dodgers at the time, um, he makes an infamous call telling Dodgers fans to celebrate by doing what? 
Well, I think I might be getting this confused with another one that was exceedingly <laughs> controversial in the much more recent past. But I feel like it had something to do with like tortillas, like you're throwing tortillas or burritos or something. Is that am I am I in the ballpark here? You're you're in the ballpark, but that's not quite correct. He told fans to grab a sombrero and throw it in the air. Okay. Of course. So. Yeah. Equally unfitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, folks, uh, uh, thanks for joining us on this uh, really fun throwback Thursday. Check the scoreboard below. It's the fourth inning in our um, trivia game this week. I'm up five to three. We've got a nice little high scoring game here. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron's trying to, to claw back, but I'm, I'm holding them off so far. Uh, but we got, you know, four more, five more innings left to go. Yeah, we're week. going. And uh, tomorrow is all about the fans. You want to turn tune in to see what that's all about. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back right back at it tomorrow. We'll see you then.